being a rookie, coming into something new like this and, and really wanting to leave a really good first impression. The train doesn't stop because your draft pick is not out there. You know, we want to see him compete. We want to see him play fast. We want to see him go out there and play his game. I think he's done an excellent job for the limited number of opportunities he's had. He'll overcome that with his work ethic, but he's got to get in and show us that he deserves that opportunity and can be there. Tight end position is a hybrid position in the NFL now. This draft had a lot of capable tight ends. So as we started talking about all the other guys, Luke's name kept coming up. Wait, first one. First one, best one. There was this guy that had the athletic measurables, the size, all those things, and he played in that system in Michigan where you get to see him do NFL stuff. We feel like we got a guy that is very well-rounded and can do multiple things. So when was the last time you played a game? New Year's Day. For the Fiesta Bowl? Yeah. They should be pretty good again this year, Michigan. Yeah, they, I think they'll make it to the Natty. I was dealing with plantar fasciitis. It's a little inflammation underneath the foot, and that started right around the playoff game of last season. Pro day rolls around, caught a ball and, and just went to sprint and that's when it popped and it kind of freaked me out because I, I didn't know really what had happened. I came out to, to Oxnard at the training camp and continuing that rehab with the training staff and I mean I'm feeling better than ever. Everything is really uh, off on the, on the right foot. So. Luke, like I tell him, that is your practice. That is your practice. You got to attack it with intensity. You got to attack it with being intentional. And really push yourself. L Dub, just, he, I mean, he's the man. Really just knows all of us so well. All right, let's go fishing. Let's go fishing. Let's, work. let's find the fish, guys. Let's find the fish and go get them. Someone that, uh, you look forward to seeing every day. You know, just keeping him engaged mentally, keeping him involved in terms of what play's being called and actually playing the play from the sideline. What was that last play? What was that play? Oh, come on. What was that play? What was the play? Um, getting that mental rep. Um, All right, everybody get the mental rep. Everybody get the mental rep. Everybody get the mental rep. Get the mental rep. Get the mental rep. Get the mental rep. You're going to get a laugh or you're going to get a good story or a good joke. Come on back this way, champ. I know y'all like hanging around me. It's all good, it's dope, you know? I know I embarrass y'all, you know? Hands up! Yeah, talk to the QB! Let's go, I know it's your bad, it ain't mine. You can play the white lines, not me. It's been such a pleasure to have him as a coach. This phase will come and go, you know? And when this phase come and go, we just need you prepared for the next phase. Now, uh, Luke, we're going to find out a little more about him today. You know, he's going to work individual, and he's going to be he's, he's going to be in some selected team period reps. Once again, kind of staying in a ramp up type mode, but he will take some padded team reps today. He's kind of a throwback. I mean, that gets you excited. You know, here he is coming from the University of Michigan. He's got his hand down on a three point stance. He's drive blocking. He's blocking defensive ends. Similar to the quarterback spot, you have to know everything about the offensive play. So you gotta think like a lineman, play like a lineman, then also you gotta think like a receiver and play like a receiver. I'm anxious to just see Skinny go out there and compete and attack another jersey and, and, and play with that play style that we saw him have at Michigan. Again, I, I expect that he'll make plays both in the running game and in the passing game. 
uh, that should have the fans excited for what's to come in 2023. Now that I'm here and, and I've been able to sink into this culture and everything, I, I think there's no better place that, that I'd rather be. Really excited to, to get back out there and be wearing the, the Cowboys uniform, star on my helmet. Definitely remind me a lot of, of having the Block M. They, they both really seem to hold that same power and, and, and tradition and, and meaning. So it's, yeah, it's going to be a special moment to be able to play for an organization like this. You also should keep an eye out on the tight ends. Their role has shifted a little bit as well. It's a very loaded room. They have an amazing coach in Linda Wales that is coaching all of them up. Obviously Luke Schoonmaker who just showed up. I mean, in training camp, really touching the field. Missed the entire spring, stood watching with plantar fasciitis, which is a bad thing. Tony, you know, I think he's just kind of a little, you know, chill, but he, he got a little wildness in him. Look at that, yeah. Schoonmaker. Those are the type of plays that Coach McCarthy was just talking about. You know, it being a a long time since I've put on the pads and kind of remind me again how blessed I am get to continue to play the sport that I just love playing. It's so exciting to finally get back out there and, and move around like I used to. Uh, it's definitely got to go. That's what they're looking for out of him uh, offensively in terms of the reception side of things, Bill. Go out there and get some positive yardage. Those chains will continue to pull. The two Michigan tight ends, Luke Schoonmaker and Sean McEwen, have set up the K-State Wildcat. Really make the, the coaches believe in me and, and know that, you know, with this path that I've had to go down, that I can still be reliable and, and, and someone that they can count on. Play fake bootleg. To the right, throws it to the five. Schoonmaker bangs it in for the touchdown. I think it definitely is a call to someone's strength when, when adversity hits and it's a challenge. It's a challenge to see, you know, if, if that person is going to break or if it's going to let it get the best of them. I'm going to keep on, you know, giving everything that I have today and just remembering the end goal and, and, and that is uh, doing what I love and hard work will, will definitely speak for itself. So 